little tutorial about uh, how to make a trap beat. As you can see, I made a very, very simple trap beat on FL Studio 12. Here's my project. It's very simple. As you can see, there are just few channels, few sounds, a couple of tweaks. It's really affordable to everyone with uh, even a little experience. And my purpose is to show you how I made this project step by step. So, uh, before we start with the tutorial, I want to give you a first listen of the whole bit. Here we go. Okay, we won't listen to the whole track because the second part actually is very similar to the first one. Anyway, we'll have a total, a full listen to the of the of the beat uh, at the end of the video. So, before listening to the whole track, let's have a look at how the track is made. Before uh, starting with the ch channel's uh, explanation one by one, I want to tell you that I didn't care too much about the mastering because uh, actually it wasn't the purpose of, uh, of this tutorial to talk, to talk about the mastering. So I put just a couple of uh, sound goodizer and something more, but just uh, don't care too much about it. Let's have a look at how the channels uh, what the channels contain and how the track is made. Let's start from the percussions. Percussions are taken by a Waka Flocka Flame sample pack. I really like this pack because it contains uh, harsh trap beats. Trap uh, kicks, uh, snares, uh, hi-hats, uh, it's a full package actually. But uh, I used it uh, just uh, for the kicks uh, and the snares. I want to let you listen to the kicks. This kick and this kick are put together. In fact, I play them one above the other to reach a fuller sound. Let's have a listen at one kick at a time. This is the first kick. As you can see, it's a kick plus sub. Very, very low frequency kick. It's good, but uh, it wasn't punchy enough. So I decided to add another kick. It's this one. Okay, as you can hear, this kick is uh, a little higher in frequency. So I liked it. I like the, to combine this one with the, the one you heard before. I'll let you listen to the result. I'm taking the mixer. I want to solo the kicks. Okay, and here we go. Okay, these are the kicks played together. If I mute one, you can clearly hear the difference. Okay, they are nice played together because they make up a nice full and punchy sound with also a nice sub. I like the, the overall effect. Well, walk a kick, which is the, the kick including the sub, has no effects and so the other kick. The sample was already perfect, so no, no samples, no, sorry, no effects added, no EQ, no compression, no reverb, it was just perfect, uh, the raw sample was perfect. Okay, actually I used uh, even another kick, but uh, just uh, in this pattern. I called pattern 22. Let's have a listen at pattern 22. Okay, this is just uh, a bar intro, and uh, it's made up by 
a kick this kick plus a bass Okay, the fact uh, the the overall sound is uh, like uh, almost like the the first kick we heard before. That uh, that kick plus a sub. Okay. This bass is just a sample, and so is the kick. Okay. Now, let's go on to the snares. Snares are taken from uh, the Waka Flocka pack. Oh, sorry, I didn't bring back the, the old mixing. Here we go with the snares. Okay. This is the snare. It's a very tight snare, as you can see from the sample. You see, it's really, really tight and I put an EQ over the snare. Why I put an EQ? Just to add a slight reduction in high frequencies, above 5K Hertz. I reduced the, those frequencies because I like to keep uh, this frequency range clear for the hi-hats. I really like my hi-hats to stand out from the whole track because uh, they make uh, the sound more clear. I don't know how to explain it, but um, just uh, make the sound clearer. I, I like the, f the effect. Okay, that's uh, the only effect I put over the snare. So let's move back to the project. Okay. Percussion, the uh, Waka Flocka pack is over. That's uh, the the these are the only samples I used from this pack. If we go out a little from the percussion, actually I used another sample from Waka Flocka pack, that's a bark. It's not really a percussion, but it's a nice effects. Let's have a listen to the bark. <laughs> Do you like it? I like it because it adds uh, something more to the whole track. It's uh, it's particular, it's fresh. I like that with the uh, sound, but I didn't abuse it, just uh, a couple around. Okay, let's move on to the hi-hats. Hi-hats. These are the closed hi-hats. It's a sample. I think it was a built-in sample into FL Studio 12. I didn't uh, get this sample anywhere. It was already stored in my hard drive. Okay, hi-hat. And as I said before, hi-hats are EQ'd to play on the highest frequency range. Okay, you see, I cut the uh, completely the frequencies below 2000 Hertz because uh, I don't like those frequencies in hi-hats so keeping the hi-hats in those frequencies make them clear and uh, they stand out from the track especially if you keep these frequencies range clear from the synths, from the snares and from other sounds if you do that, uh, you obtain a nice, uh, a nice effect for the for the hi hats and from the high range of the percussions. Okay. Then we have another pattern of hi hats. That's pattern twenty one. Pattern twenty one is a little more complicated because it's not just hats. It includes an 808 open hat, an 808 closed hat, and a groove. It's like a shaker. Let's have a listen to pattern 21. Okay, it's just a percussion pattern, a little loop. This is the 808 open hat, 808 closed hat, 
and the groove. Volume is not too high. Okay. Going back to the project. Let's move on to the crash. This is a very classic crash. It's a sample. I think it's this one. Okay. It's just a sample, no effects on it, because it's already reverbed and compressed enough. So I liked it uh, as raw as it is. The crash, no effects, you see? Fine. Let's move back. I think we've done with the percussion, because I don't remember having used anything else. Let's have just a check. My memory sucks. <laughs> okay. No more percussions. So now let's move on to the synths and main sounds. Okay. Synths and melodies are mainly plucked synths. Very easy ones. Little loops uh, of uh, three, four notes. And let's start, let's start from this bit wobbly AG. It's the intro melody, do you remember? This one. A very simple melody loop. It's made with this preset of Harmless. Harmless is a a plugin that comes with the full version of FL Studio 12. You know, there's the the most complete version includes, uh, like if I remember well, uh, 10 or 12 uh, VSTs and a huge sample pack. So it's really worth the money. Harmless is one of them. And it's, re it's a really nice uh, addictive synthesizer. I really like it. And the other sound is made with Massive, but actually, as you can see, I muted it because I didn't like uh, the, those sounds uh, to play together. I just left uh, Harmless uh, alone. Massive was uh, just uh, this preset. Let's have a listen to Massive too. Okay. I left it in the project uh, because if you like uh, this sound, you can just add it and do what you like. Okay, let's have a look at the mixer. Bit Wobbly AG has a reverb and a stereo shaper. I like to add reverb to my synth because it makes the sound more, uh, more f m makes it fuller. It's ma it makes it wider. And um, I used it on like uh, all my synths, I think, because a little reverb without exaggeration, it's, uh, it's really important to, to glue the sounds together. Stereo Shaper uh, just uh, spreads the sound uh, around a little wider. It adds a slight delay, and uh, to the delayed sound, it uh, uh, applies a pen. Some goes to the left and some goes to the right. It makes it uh, more uh, the whole the whole sound more stereo. I like it on uh, mid and high frequencies. So this is another plugin I use uh, really often. Okay. Another synth is this bell sound. Okay, those are simple bells. It's a sound font, so it's uh, just a sample. It's a sampler. And the sample is just played. The bells uh, are EQ'd to cut low frequencies, because uh, I like to do subtractive EQ, EQing to clean uh, the frequencies that 
tend to be more uh, busy. I don't know how to say it. Uh, lots of sounds, lots of sounds, uh, synths, uh, percussions tend to occupy low frequencies and mid frequencies. So if uh, those frequencies aren't uh, necessary, I like to cut them down from the sounds so that uh, low frequencies are kept uh, free for the bass, high frequencies are kept clear for, for uh, high hats, and mid frequencies uh, are really busy, but uh, you have to, to play with the cues on all your sounds to, to make it uh, not too much dirty and to make the overall uh, track uh, sound well. I apply the reverb as well, to, as I explained before, to make the synth uh, fuller and to glue the sounds together. Okay, these were the bells. Let's move on Dancer Plug FG. This is another synth. <laughs> this synth is so acid, as you can hear. It's made with harmless, it's a preset, and uh, it's EQ'd with a pump uh, on the upper mid frequencies to make the sound stand out uh, from the overall uh, mixing, of our overall track, and uh, a cut in low frequencies to keep uh, room uh, on those frequencies for other sounds. And of course, the reverb. The reverb, uh, I, I just go by ear. I try all the reverbs and uh, I tweak on the parameters and when it sounds well, uh, I just leave it as it is. There's no rule, just uh, go by ear. Okay. What's more, uh, another bell. This bell actually is a church bell. I don't know to if... Uh, if it belongs to, to percussions or to synths, it's, uh, it's borderline. Okay, it's a, a church bell. I like this, uh, this bell to, to be put in, in trap music because, uh, I don't know, it just completes the track. This bell is a sample, reverbed as fuck, and uh, it's EQ'd cutting uh, with a slight cut on low frequencies, a smooth cut, and a pump on mid frequencies. I pump uh, frequencies on uh, the sounds that I want to really stand out. So don't abuse uh, these, uh, uh, these pumps on frequencies. Be, be careful when you EQ positive and not in negative, okay? Okay, let's go on. What do we have? Orchestra hits. It's uh, similar to bells, but uh, it's, it sounds like this. Okay. It's another sound I really like in trap music. I use it in almost uh, all my productions. Orchestra hits are just a sample. EQs to pump uh, upper mid frequencies and cut low frequencies. Even when we're talking about EQs, just uh, go by ear and uh, try a couple of tweaks uh, until uh, the sound fits uh, in your track. Just uh, keep on tweaking a little, little by little and you'll reach the, the perfect uh, EQing. Okay, that's all. Let's move on these other patterns. We have this one, that's another synth. With a little variation in melody. This synth is composed by two layers of Massive. The first one is Wap Wap Preset and it sounds like this. And the second one is 
blink blang or whatever it uh, it's pronunciated and it sounds like this okay complementary frequencies so they play really well together in my opinion let's have a look at how they are affected EQ guess what pumping mid high frequencies and cutting low frequencies just easy as it is really basic EQing nothing nothing special nothing advanced okay if we move on into the timeline we find pattern 17 which is a another plaque sound made with massive I like massive eh? <laughs> you did you get it seen weird bleep preset massive is good because it's really really tweakable you can do all produce al almost uh, every sound on earth with massive it's really really a great uh, plugin you you must have it it's uh, one of the best in my opinion if you don't have it just get it okay let's have a look at effects okay eq same eq just uh, a little less pumped and a little less frequencies cut stereo shaper same as before but with slight uh, little less delay and the reverb that's fine I think we're almost over with the sounds there's a dancer plug FG it's the same as before but with a no it's the same it's just the same no variations uh, nothing different okay those bells I think we already heard those bells yeah we did at the beginning so we're over with the patterns okay I just uh, won't uh, talk about uh, those samples like sweeps uh, white noises uh, those uh, crashes bangs uh, and so on because they're just uh, samples as easy as it is let's have a look at envelopes okay this envelope it just uh, controls the volume of the bells those bells okay they start at 0 dB and they rise up little by little okay not to make the intro too too hard master volume is always at 0 dB unless this one this part the outro that is uh, slight reduction like a fade gross beat I didn't talk about gross beat okay what is it it's uh, a plugin an effect it comes with the uh, FL studio so it's built in and uh, when you turn it on it acts uh, like uh, uh, a stop the vinyl let's have a listen so that uh, you can uh, get it easily more uh, easily okay did you hear it let's jump over there okay it's like a vinyl being stopped it's just uh, this sound it, uh, it takes the pitch uh, of your uh, depends I put on the master so it takes the pitch of the whole track and brings it down until 0% but then it starts again it's a uh, it's really tweakable as a um, as an effect as we, uh, we can go on the master to have a look at it okay this is the curve the pitch curve so the pitch is zero it's uh, I mean it's a hundred percent and then it turns down and uh, this uh, is where is uh, the curve that applies when 
gross beat is set on. I mean that mix level is a hundred percent of the, the output of a gross beat. Okay. Uh, just uh, tweak a lot with the gross beat because you can uh, you can uh, obtain a lot of uh, interesting effects. Just uh, tweak with it, play with it, and uh, you'll find out that it's it's great. Okay, I think that's all. Uh, okay, I I didn't talk about mastering as I said before because as you can see it's just uh, stupid. It's a stupid mastering. There's nothing. It wasn't purpose of this tutorial to talk about mastering. Okay, I think we can have a listen to the whole track now. I remind you that the track is downloadable for free. I'll upload also the FLP so that you can open the project and uh, have a deeper look at it or modify it and use it uh, as you want in your sounds, in your videos, or your tracks. Uh, just use it as you want, like it was yours. I hope uh, this tutorial helped you because uh, I I don't know. It's my first one. I, I'm not very good at it, but I, I did my best. Let me know if uh, I should change something, if uh, I should stop doing tutorials because I suck. Uh, whatever. Or any request uh, is appreciated and any comment is appreciated as well. Okay, let's have a listen to the whole track and then uh, we'll see to the next mix which is coming very very soon. Great guys. Here we go. <laughs> 